a vertical water jet flows out a round hole one of the horizontal sections is of this diameter and another section which is located at other height has a different diameter find the volume of water flowing through the hole each second so this is how the flow is happening so we are given the diameter here we are given the diameter at some other height and we are given the distance between the two points we need to find the volume of water flow flowing from the hole each second before attempting the problem because this surface is cylindrical in nature until now we have discussed how to calculate the axis pressure inside a spherical surface but these surfaces are cylindrical so let's find how to calculate the axis pressure due to cylindrical shape of liquid so i'll calculate here uh, by from our basic mechanics for the cylindrical shape and here we are going to use a more general rule and which can be used for any kind of uh, a surface where you have two different radius of curvatures so but for this cylindrical we don't need to get into that so for cylindrical let's just take a surface which is like this so this is the this is the water or some liquid which is inside this cylindrical shape and we are taking half of it so on this half there is a surface which is pulled down because of surface tension and another surface is here which is also pulled down now this is just a cut from the liquid part so here there is no surface exposed so there is no surface tension force due to surface tension here pressure will also of course be there exerting from the left and the right but that will be balanced by the internal pressure so there is no pressure change because of the liquid on the left and because of the liquid on the right so now on this surface we have a force f downwards on this surface also we have a force f downwards so both of these are due to the surface tension and because of the axis pressure on this surface you can imagine the pressure will be upwards which will be delta p times a where a is the area of this rectangular surface so i have not drawn it but you can imagine so if inside pressure is p in that will be uh, pushing this rectangular surface by p in into a and outside is p not so that will be pushing downwards with p not into a so if you subtract that net force will be p in minus p not into a upwards which is delta p into a so because the liquid is at rest we will do the force balance so delta p into a is equal to 2f f is s into l which gives delta p is equal to s by r now you may recall for the spherical surface delta p was p was 2s by r but for cylindrical it is only s by r now for the general shape so let's say we have a uh a uh, pizza dough kind of shape where we have two radius of curvatures at a point so on a, this point which is near the center of this um, uh of the surface the you can see it consists of two radius of curvatures so one is because of this sir which is r1 and one is like this so that radius of curvature will be r2 so both of these uh, circles are perpendicular to each other so both of the radii of curvatures are perpendicular to each other so because of such surfaces the axis pressure inside is given by s by r1 plus s by r2 so i'm not going to derivate this formula here otherwise the solution will be too long maybe some other time but for now just know that if you have two perpendicular radius of curvatures r1 and r2 then the axis pressure at the point inside is given by s by r1 plus s by r2 now let's use this formula for the spherical shape so for spherical shape r1 and r2 will be same spherical shape will be like this and now if you took take a point which is just inside the spherical shape then your delta p will be s by r plus s by r which will be 2s by r which is our well known result 
and again if you take this for a cylindrical shape so one of the radius will be r and other radius will be infinity so in this formula r2 will be infinity and another other radius will be just r so delta p will be s by r plus s by infinity that becomes s by r which we derived here not derived yeah, yeah i mean we derived only but here we got it from this equation which is a general form now coming back to our problem so we have a water jet so at a distance of l the diameter goes from d to d by n we need to find what is the volume flow rate so one equation we can write for the continuity and one we can write for the we can write the bernoulli equation so for bernoulli equation we will need the pressures on this point and this point so that we will get from what we derived here so let's write our two equations so by equation of continuity a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 this gives our first relation v1 is equal to n square v2 and by bernoulli's equation for again the both points so p1 okay uh, i think yeah p1 is this so p1 plus uh, rho gh1 which is 0 plus half rho v1 square is equal to p2 plus rho gh2 plus half rho v2 square h1 is 0 h2 is l and p1 so delta p is s by r so if outside pressure is p0 just inside pressure will be p0 plus s by this radius so for the first one for here p1 is p0 plus delta p1 and delta p1 is s by r r in this case is d by 2n similarly for this point delta p will be s by d by 2 p0 will get cancelled and we'll have rest of the terms so now we have our two equations and two variables v1 and v2 so solving for any one of them so we, let's say if we solve for v2 we get this so flow rate will be simply av so at second point area will be pi d square by 4 times v2 this will be our answer all right